started out in millinery and I was really wanting to make my own hats and headpieces. I signed up for a weekend course in London and I was intimidated by like all the tools and the expensive hat blocks and the steamers and I, it seemed like a really expensive hobby to get into. Um, but I was really refreshed because when I went into the class I found out this is literally all you need to make hats. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really simple and I think you don't need all of the really expensive tools to start off with So let's go through the bare bones what you need to start making some basic headpieces Yes, you need a set of threads You need a pair of scissors you want some pliers. So this is really good for you know wire cutting, but I mean this is a bit more so it's a bit more involved this one but they're really good to have measuring tape a selection of needles uh, you can just use general sewing needles but I think straw ones are really good they're a bit finer and a bit longer better for hat making chalk chalk pencil or a chalk triangle or what uh, a chalk in general that's really good a thimble so which one fits you pins you can go really long ones here or you can go for slightly shorter ones here whichever ones you've got anything will really work then we've got here you've got an iron um, really good for steaming so steaming flowers steaming fabrics ironing fabrics and then a kettle you don't necessarily need a jiffy steamer you could just go with a kettle and that's all really really you need yeah you need a heat source to um, kind of activate your fabric not all fabrics um, but you could even use a pot with boiling water and just get the steam off of that. So even these you could do without. And there's some great books as well um, and magazines that you can draw inspiration from for learning for the first time. So maybe you don't even have access to courses. Mm. Like just pick up this. This is a great book, by the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> really recommend it. We sell it uh, at petershims.com and it is The Art of Millinery by Sarah Lomax and Rachel Skinner, who are excellent teachers that you can also take courses from, but if you don't have access to them, you can pick up a little book and it will tell you to get these things and get started. So, And you also have magazines as well, so don't forget mag magazines. Um, Hat Magazine is really good and every week, every issue will have maybe a few little tips or tricks, history of hats, so it's really worth getting these as well. Um, <laughs> top tip when you're just starting out a proper poupee is really expensive you're probably gonna pay like two or three hundred pounds mm. for a really proper one which you will want when you're a professional but when you're just starting out this is actually a wig stand it's a wig block uh, you can pick these up on auction sites so you can pick them up probably at boot fairs I've picked them up there before um, they're polystyrene really easy to pin into and you know save your money for when you really know what you need but... 